Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Ship Views with me, Carburetor. Today I'm going to be taking you through what my favorite ship in the game by far is, the Atlanta. Specifically for the Operation Narai. The Atlanta is the most overpowered ship for this operation. And many people... Here's what really surprises me is a lot of people don't play operations at all simply because they feel that they're too advanced for operations. Well, I'm here to tell you, it is an awesome, awesome way to make some serious bank in World of Warships. It is, for all intents and purposes, game breaking. You can really use it to your advantage. Oh, there's our very first target. And I've got the AP loaded. Look at the salvo on that. Holy cow. There's one Citadel. There's two Citadels. And my very first kill. This ship, the at the rate that it can spit out the fire, is the best ship, in my opinion, for Operation Rye. Now, there are plenty of other ships out there that can do very well in Operation Rye. And I'm not picking on them by any stretch of the imagination. I've played this in the Scharnhorst. I've played this in the Gneis now. I've played this in, uh, I'm blanking, the King George V. I've played this in the Synop, and all of them are really, really, really good ships, especially the Synop. The Synop, if you take your CV route and head out that way, you'll get really good um, broadsides on a lot of cruisers and the Missouri, which pops up a little bit later. As you can see there, I got myself another kill, and I'm switching over to the fort here, more or less because I have nothing better to shoot at. I don't think these forts really give us anything, but it's something to shoot at, it's something to do. Okay, there's our next target. Opening up on him, let's see if I get any Citadels. And... No Citadels, and I don't get the kill. Now, I need to switch back to this Iron Duke right here, and this is something I'm really out of position here, to be honest with you, because that Iron Duke, with those uh, with those British AP shots, can delete me off the map. It's happened before. Let's get this guy out of here, opening up a few more shots on him. Oh, where was the dispersion on those shots? Will it be enough? And yes, didn't get the kill, but we did manage to get him out. Now, as you can see, I am not doing too hot on health. Uh, those couple of salvos I took from the Iron Duke really, uh, really hampered me. But one of the best things about commander skills is adrenaline rush, which means that these very fast loading guns just get faster as I take more damage. So even though it's definitely not helping me, or it's not, uh, it's not helping me to stay alive, it is helping me to do more damage. Normally, if I was on better health right here, I'd actually try and open up on the Dallas here, but I don't want to invite cross shots across this way because for some reason, I seem to attract all of the attention. Don't know if that's just me, but I seem to get a lot of attention, especially, especially when I'm playing the Atlanta. They really in my opinion, stepped up the uh, the ability of the game bots. And, oh no, what am I doing here? Oh, come on, you idiot. Hit reverse. Oh, as you can see there, I am dead humping the Iron Duke. I call it what it actually is, but I don't want the YouTube algorithm to... Uh, <laughs> I, I don't want the YouTube algorithm to get into me, but it quickly sinks below, and I need to continue pouring on the steam to keep up and try and get through here because the trick to getting the transports you need to be there first you need to be close range because you don't want dispersion uh, taking away a lot of your shots and as soon as you get done with the transports you need to get into the arena as soon as possible you can't spend too much time out here in the open you'll actually see how I'm turning left into here many people turn right into here and go down towards the enemy cap which you'll see in the bottom left hand corner of the mini map that i have pulled up in the bottom right hand corner of my screen 
for some reason they all go this route i don't know why and i've seen so many ships so many ships that can do this go that route and it actually hurts them because they have to deal with the transports spread out they can't just stay in one place and continue pouring on luckily we got that uh, nicholas out in time those torps of his do hurt and as you can see the salvos from him and the fort haven't exactly been doing too many favors to my health but again that just means i'm now firing even faster look at the blistering rate of speed on those guns it is astounding that is why for this i would say the atlanta is the best ship in the game for this reason or for this purpose it is astounding what it can do there i got one transport ship down let's get another transport ship down now normally You'd want to fight and you want to focus on the lead ship. But when you already have one ship that's whittled down on health, you don't want to leave it. Because your teammates have a tendency to troll you. They have a tendency to come in and kill steal you at the last second. And you really don't want that for two reasons. First off, it means more credits in your, uh, in your pocket at the end battle. But it also means that you won't get the... Uh, the award shark among shrimps and you can actually see here it comes there's going to be a salvo coming in right there and that is actually from the new ship i don't know if you can see it right there i can't see it on my blurry screen but the new uh german cruiser i'm actually looking it up right now because i can't remember the weimar you guys could probably see it i couldn't see it now, as you guys can tell, I'm still not doing too hot on health, and I haven't taken any more damage, but I'm not exactly healing any any damage also. I could have healed damage if I had doubled back to regain with the transports, but that's not how you be, how you guarantee the best outcome in this, um, in this operation. Pull up behind this island. Normally, I'd go blazing out, but you have a bad tendency to attract the focus of the Dallas and the other uh, destroyer that's in there. I can't see it on my blurry screen. I've got horrible uh, video processing on here. So you guys are going to have to look at it. It looks like the Campbelltown. Taking some shots on the Phoenix here. Trying to back up a little bit. Trying to get into cover. Trying to get undetected so that people aren't shooting at me. And I guarantee you also that there are torps fired at me. Pulling out here. I'm going to try and confront the Dallas here, and there are those torps. If I had pulled out, I would have eaten those torps. Luckily, I stayed hidden behind this island, didn't take any torps, minimized the amount of damage that I took. You do want to try and conserve damage. You don't just want to throw it away. Now, I do realize that I just said that the, fast, or the more damage you take, the faster you shoot. Well, you just still don't just want to throw away your health, because that's a good way to really hurt yourself long game because you can't battle take shots here like i am against this dallas i love how you can actually see the ricochets off of his bow i it's amazing the level of detail that's in this game when you actually slow down and look okay i'm coming in i'm gonna dig 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 there's two citadels and another kill all right Repair the fire, pop radar. Okay, let's get some fire in on this Campbelltown, and no luck. Well, nothing else to shoot at. Let's shoot at this fort. As you can see, we're already up to 160,000 damage. Four citadels, 10 kills. This is a really, really, this is shaping up to be a really, really good match. Honestly, if it hadn't been for that uh, bad battle humping, at when I was trying to bust down to the uh, transports and the couple of shots I had taken from the uh, Iron Duke, I'd probably be doing a lot better just because of the fact that I'd be so much further along. I would have more health battle tank and I could take a few more risks, but instead I have to kind of play it safe here. I didn't want to go around the outside of this island because I didn't want the Omaha to catch sight of me because he could start shoot shooting at me. 
So instead, I came over here, hiding behind the island, trying to get past this group of ships that's actually passing on the left side of me. Now, many people, when they see me do this in game, I've been I've been called out for doing this in game because many people don't get what I'm doing. They don't get that I'm trying to get behind these guys and trying to get into their spawn. And I'll I'll show you why in a little second here. But I don't want to confront these guys. That is a fight I cannot win. Even if I was on full health, I could not win that fight. So instead, going to try and sneak around here. Minimize the amount of damage I'm going to take. Minimize the amount of people shooting at me. By the time I get around to the backside of the, this island, those ships should be so focused on the other on my other teammates trying to shoot at them that they're not going to defer to me. All right, nothing better to shoot at. Let's shoot at this ship right here. That's that's really good damage. That's really good salvos of HE fire going out against him. Already we're up to 180,000 damage. And, okay, now this is why I say that you want to get down into the cap. Because I don't know if you're noticing here, but they're not shooting at me. For some reason, ooh, more citadels, three, come on, come on, bank, four, five, six, come on, get the kill, seven, eight, we got the kill, and we got natural selection for killing four of our same type, or you can also get it for killing eight of the other type. All right, shooting at the uh, Queen Elizabeth here, trying to get the health down a little bit because my torps are not enough to kill him alone. Oh, I am way out of position here. I got that kill, but I'm way out of position here. Ooh, gonna try and get some torps in on the shores. Nope, he's too close. They ain't gonna arm in time. And ooh, barely missed, barely missed. Oh, that was, that was really close. All right, taking some pot shots on this Colorado. Again, trying to get him down because my torps alone are not enough to kill him. More some some more pot shots. Okay, turning around. Take some shots on there, Atlanta. More citadels. More citadels. Three, four, five, six, seven. And I kill him. Switch to the shores. No more citadels out here. There goes the Colorado from flooding. I don't know why he didn't repair it. I really don't. Normally he does. But I was able to kill him. Switching back to the HE. Come on, take out the shores, take out the shores, and too bad. Somebody else got it. Oh, that's still not that bad. That is still really, really good. And we are going to end out the battle with, with 350,000 damage, 1,870 XP, 18,383 18, free XP. Do you realize how many doubloons that is? I'll convert that one back in port. But that is an insane amount of doubloons. Top of the tier, 2,336 base XP. That is terrific. Now on to the last screen here. As you can see, 1 million credits. Holy crap. And you can really, really, really see everything here look at the commander xp damn near sixty thousand commander xp you realize that if you had no buffs on your ships at all and if you made all your containers for the day you'd get 3600 or thirty six thousand commander xp this is almost double that in one battle imagine what you can do in 10 battles this is why this ship is so op all right now that we're back in port i can show you guys this ship uh, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but, you know, 2.4 million XP on that on this ship. Nah, I don't play this ship at all. This is my favorite ship. I take this ship into rank battles. I take this ship into Narai. I take this ship into random battles. I will take it into co-op just to have fun because it is fun. I love this ship. This ship is insane. As you can see here, I don't have the uh, standard... Uh, camouflage on it, I actually have the Pi Day Camel, which gets me 314% better or more Commander XP and 314% more Free XP. That's kind of why I get so much XP when I do this is because of the Camel, uh, also because of the signals. Normally, I don't run all of these, but I kind of did it for the meme to kind of basically say, hey, 
look at how uh, look at how much you can do. Typically, I run the, the special flags, the flags at the very bottom here, only one at a time. That way, they have a chance to kind of stack, or not stack. That way, they have a chance to spread out, and I don't burn through them all. And the way I look at it is, you lose a lot of your uh, you, you lose a lot of potential to make more XP by running too many flags because you can kind of hit a ceiling where I, I'm stumbling on my words but you'll earn let's say you earn 1000 base XP if you triple that now you're at 4000 or if you have a plus 300 percent flag now you're at 400 XP if you have another let's say 200 percent XP flag well, it's only going to go up from 400 to 600. You still have that 100, that 1,000 base XP. I don't know why I'm saying hundreds, thousands, base XP. So you're kind of losing out. Whereas if you ran the 200% separate than the 300, you get 3,000 on that battle, and you get 4,000 on the other battle. You get 7,000 XP right there. But it does mean you have to run more battles. But I have no problem running these because, as you can see. They are a lot of fun and they make a lot of bank. I don't know if you noticed, 108 million credits. And I had a lot more before Trick, which I'm gonna make a video for in the future. And I burnt up a lot of credits. Going into my equipment here right quick, I just wanna show you guys this. Uh, basic setup here, um, I don't really have too big of a risk of detonating. So when I'm running Operation Rai, I will typically run main armament main armaments modification one because I don't want to lose my turrets as easily I will typically run surveillance radar even though you could run engine room protection or damage control system it was just sort of a whim throw this on I think I actually have this left over from rank battles so I could kind of take it off if I wanted to uh, aiming systems because these shells do have kind of a wonky dispersion from time to time and it's best to try and keep those tight and then propulsion Many people will run steering, I run propulsion because I like to stop on a dime and start really, really fast. So that's kind of there. Let's go into commander skills. Now these commander skills are not the norm. I would not do this for a standard random battle build. Once I get enough uh, commanders, I intend on going back through here and optimizing one for ranked, one for random, one for, uh, one for Operation Rai. But for this, I have my grease the gears and I really only have this because I had one point left over I have last stand because I want to continue moving when my uh, when my when my engines are damaged I know they change it so you have plus uh, eight percent or you have eight uh, percent speed now instead of no speed if you're not running this I still like to have the fifty percent I like to tell when somebody's aiming at me so I run priority target uh, survivability expert for kind of obvious reasons. Adrenaline rush, again, pretty obvious reasons. And then heavy HE and SAP shells, mainly just to add some weight to my salvos. It definitely helps to kill those transports faster because the sooner you can kill those transports, the sooner you can claim that kill. You don't want people stealing your kills, especially in operations, because the kills are what give you the money. Uh, secondary bat or top grade gunner. Basically, if there are enemy ships within my ship's standard detectability range, that's actually why I don't run Concealment Expert, you get a little bit of a buff to your main battery reload. That's the only real reason why I run this. I would not take this normally, but it helps. And then Inertial fuel Fuse for HE shells, and that's mainly because you're going up against a lot of ships here that have really good armor and you don't want to be shattering. If you're shattering rounds, you're losing, uh, you're losing your ability to do damage. You really don't have a chance to set fires and let fires burn, so you're more focused on continuous uh, damage than damage over time. Again, if I were running a random battle build, or if I was running a ranked battle build, this is not the setup I would use but it's pretty good for what I'm doing. I don't know if you noticed, but I only have 40,000. That's because I actually did this a little time after I went and played ranked and I burnt up some of my commander XP for that. But otherwise, I mean, pretty basic setup. Uh, 
run run special camos if you need to to get yourself those bonuses i don't want i don't typically burn up these uh these camos i don't like burning them up on stupid ships i'll i'll burn them up if i need to burn through a ship that i really can't stand playing but i try and save these for operation narai for this reason anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's been a little bit long-winded i'm probably pushing on uh just going off the clock here 30 minutes I appreciate your guys' time. I appreciate the people who stick with me and put up with my somewhat nasally voice. Uh, just to say, you know, uh, I know some people have commented that I have a really wonky uh, uh, dis distribution schedule. And it's mainly because I make a video when I want to make a video. And I appreciate the support that a few of my patrons give me. And honestly, I hope to one day make it to the big leagues. But until then... Thank you all, and I'll see you all next time.